For dinner, I had a nice steak. Oh, a nice steak. I chose keto because I like meats and cheeses. Okay, boom. I put this into the chronometer as well. Let's go and check it out. It's just horrible. I'm so in 30 days, and here's why I wanted to make this video, I ate over 100 pounds of bananas. I ate almost 50 pounds of potatoes. And what happened? Well, there was some weight loss, and that's fantastic. I lost over 20 pounds. Great. You know, that's I, I hope for more weight loss because that's good for my health. But more than 30 days have gone by now, and I haven't binged, and I don't feel so crazy. And that is what has made it worthwhile for me. Hey, free woman. I'm Freely. Welcome back to the Free World Channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Click the bell icon if you actually want to watch my videos. So today's video is a reaction to Anna O'Brien, Glitter and Lasers, What I Eat in a Day TikTok. She put it up recently, so I'm going to react to that. I actually worked out all the calories. We're going to talk all about that. I, I give actual alternatives, healthy, cruelty-free alternatives to everything that she eats in this day. So stay tuned for that. And a lot of you told me that she's trying to lose weight. And a lot of people her size are always trying to lose weight, okay? But they're going on these fad diets and they starve themselves and they binge out. And it's just this terrible cycle that continues forever and ever and ever until someone like me comes along and says, hey, I got the solution for you. Okay, stop the pollution. I got the internal solution to your problems. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. And she put up this video, weight loss diet and fitness. I am spilling all the tea. And she talks about being fearful, basically of the body positivity community, you know, thinking, being negative towards her for wanting to get healthy, for wanting to lose weight. And I'm just like, oh. What is the world that we are living in when someone is trying to improve their health to, to get better and others who are in a similar position are like, no, they're trying to pull her back down. Like, no, you can't, you can't get healthier. You're like, you're our role model. You are our truth, our beacon of truth that we're putting up there as an example of health at every size. You know, you can be morbidly obese at any size. I mean, you can be healthy and be morbidly obese. And we know that's not true. And it's just sickening that people would be negative towards her trying to do something positive for her life. You know, I just, I just can't, okay? So we're gonna show just a tiny bit of that. But before we move on, just stop for a second and press the thumbs up or press the thumbs down. And if you're feeling the thumbs down, you can do that. If you're not feeling me, you're not feeling me today, you think I'm annoying, whatever, just thumb me down, that is fine, okay? But if you find this to be uh, powerful information that's important, then you just vote how you feel is best, but just do something if you wanna see more of these videos. All right, so and as, as a lot of you know, I made a video previously on Anna O'Brien. I put a link in the description below, it's a video before this, so check it out before you watch this one. All right, so let's go, let's go. Weight loss diets, just a little bit of a sentence from this one. This was like, okay, maybe I need to start doing something. So I started researching. Maybe I need to start doing something good, okay. Searching about lipedema, and there were just all these really extreme diets that were suggested. And honestly, a lot of the people who are actively talking about lipedema practice those diets so okay so she says extreme diets and for anna who is eating extremely badly she would see probably plant-based as extreme and we know it's not okay it's the way that humans are meant to eat and i'm all about we're frugivores okay which means we should eat high fruit but i'm also supportive of a higher starch you know starch solution style approach as well but you really do need to get the fruit in eventually but if for her it's a good transition for sure um, but she probably thinks it's, it's extreme, which is crazy. It, it gives you great results and it's, it's cruelty free and it's great. I chose keto because I like meats and cheeses. Okay, boom. I chose keto because I like meats and cheeses. There you go, Anna. There is your problem, okay? You know, she likes the meats and cheeses. They don't like your back, okay? It's not working for you, Anna. It's keeping you huge keeping you unhealthy. It's keeping you on death's door, knocking on death's door, you know, with one foot in a grave. You know, you're, you're a chicken wing away from a heart attack, basically. So cheese and meat, you've got to get these unhealthy, cruel, cruel foods out of your diet. And you might be like, oh, you're just saying that because it's unethical. I am all about ethics. Yes, I care about other animals. I don't want to see them 
killed unnecessarily just for my meal. I think that is disgusting and so unnecessary. But this is also about health. These foods don't contain any fiber. They don't contain any carbohydrates. Like they're obviously not meant to go in our incredibly long digestive system. They're just not meant to go in there, okay? They're meant to go through very quickly through, you know, uh, omnivore, a carnivore's digestive system. And we don't have that. We have the frugivore digestive system. Okay, so it causes a lot of problems. So she tried keto. And I did keto and I actually developed a really terrible keto rash all over. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because you're not meant to eat keto. You're not meant to eat a high meat and cheese diet. It's just so wrong for frugivores. It seems like everywhere we look on YouTube these days, someone is trying the keto diet. From beauty bloggers to gamers. We become sick from this high level of ketones that are starting to poison the blood. So anyway, look, her BMR, all right, I worked out her basal metabolic rate, just went to a standard calculator and uh, put in 30, she's around 36 years old. Her height, I didn't know, but probably around 170 centimeters. 180 kilos or around 400 pounds she weighs. So how many calories should she be, ha be having? So her basal metabolic rate, the, the rate at which the amount of calories that she should have to just lie in bed all day for her body to function, to stay, you know, functioning properly is two and a half thousand calories. That's a ton, right? I mean, like that's a lot for just lying around in bed doing nothing, but she needs that. And a lot of these calorie restrictive diets are like, you know, you should just have 1700 calories. It's just starvation, okay? And we don't want to starve Anna. We just want to change where her calories are coming from, change her food source, right? So exercise, we saw her doing some exercise one to three times per week or four to five times per week. She needs around three and a half thousand calories because we saw her doing, I mean, I'm not sure if you've seen a TikTok, but I'll show a little bit. She's been doing exercises like jumping jacks. She's been doing quite a bit of movement. And as a personal trainer who had a successful personal training business for many years, I do not recommend someone who is morbidly obese or even obese to do jumping jacks and explosive movements, okay? Because there's too much weight on your joints. Go for a walk or even a bike ride that supports your weight, supports your joints. There's none of this impact, but just walking is enough for Anna. So Anna, please listen, don't do that, okay? But anyway, the point here is, Three and a half thousand calories. So, you know, she's moving. This is her, her, ba her basal metabolic rate. Okay, so she needs that many calories. And there might be a lot of you saying, oh, you know, that's, that's so many calories. She won't lose weight if she eats that much. Rubbish. Okay, she, she needs more like 5,000 calories of the right, from the right food sources, from the low fat, the high carbohydrate food, the plant foods, not the high saturated animal fat, which is just keeping her big. You heard her, she likes the meat and cheeses. All right, so anyway, let's get into it, shall we? This is, this is her TikTok, all right? And this, this video has been viewed by over 1.4 million people, probably mainly obese young women and older women watching this. So she is being an example to them. Is she being a good example? I have watched this, okay? I have worked out all the calories and substitutes and it's not good, all right? So I'll just give you a little bit of a, a preview there. So let's get into it. Here's what I eat in okay. a typical day. First, I started with a goat cheese spinach frittata and some roasted sweet potatoes. It's one. Okay, so that is what she's starting with. Goat cheese spinach frittata and roast sweet potato. I'm all about the roast sweet potato. I think that's great. For breakfast, I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't recommend it because I'm all about the fruit. You know, you need that hydrating, nourishing food in the morning. Fruit is just uh, where, it's, where it's at because it's full of water, full of fiber. It is really, really healthy for your colon to have that first thing in the morning. Um, but sweet potato, I'm obviously supportive of that, but you need more fructose, even more fructose when it, come, and it comes to fruit, okay? So this spinach frittata thing is just obviously, it's just full of fat. It's goat cheese, it's eggs. It's just no, okay? It's no, 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 it is cruel food and it is not good for her waistline, okay? The amount of fat, it has 53% fat, this thing, okay? It has a bunch of sodium, you know, 53% fat. 
it, it's it's way too much. The carbs carbs five percent fat um, carbs. And I know she had a sweet potato, but she needs way more, way more than this. So Anna's breakfast came out to 370 calories. I mean, that's ridiculous for her. She needs to start the day with so many more calories. And I'm talking more like 1,279 calories. That's what I've got here for her. Okay, so I actually, you know, designed the breakfast for her, which is a BG Snackers. BG Snackers has a picture of me here, but it is a delicious recipe which is page 163 of the raw till four diet okay so it has bananas eight bananas pb2 organic powdered peanut butter powder okay so this is a low fat the the fat has basically a lot of the fat's been removed from this peanut butter so you can put the powder in but you still get that peanutty flavor and it is great you can have soy milk in there and dates and honestly it is such a tasty tasty smoothie okay it is great it's full of fructose it's full of glucose it's full of that energy that she needs to start the day you know being 400 pounds she's going to need at least a thousand calories for breakfast and she's only having 370 so what happens when you have that little calories for breakfast one of my favorite breakfasts so she says it's one of her favorite breakfasts i kind of like question whether that's true or not but anyway uh, by the way, I want to say this sample breakfast, I found this here. This is actually from this Snap Kitchen website, which, you know, they do calories and stuff like that. So that's just on a side note. Also with that... But this is what happens when you don't have enough calories for breakfast, enough glucose, enough fructose into your cells. I drank a Perk Energy drink just to get myself going because I was super tired that morning. Yeah. So she had a perk energy drink with just this, a coffee. She had a coffee. It's like 100 milligrams of caffeine. You know, boom, she needed that. She needed that caffeine hit. Anyone who is having caffeine in their diet has an inadequate diet. It is a deficient diet. But look, this is why she needs to eat more. She needs to eat more for breakfast and more carbohydrates, okay? Like, so she has energy and she doesn't go for the drugs because this is what these people are doing. They go for the drugs because they're having a deficient diet. All right, so uh, next, I mean, I haven't had coffee for something like 15 years, okay? Because my diet's not deficient, right? So let's see here. Then I had a delicious... That does not look, that looks disgusting. Look at that, oh no. It looks like powdered pus for me. Powdered solidified bovine secretion, like gross, goats. I used to eat goat's cheese and this stuff is really unhealthy. It's cranberry bacon goat cheese salad. Cranberry bacon. So she's got, she's got, you know, she's got the pig flesh in there. You know, she's got the solidified bovine secretion, she's got the pig flesh, the meat and cheeses, you know, she said that and she's got a salad. This is not good. This is full of fat. Let's have a look how much fat this has in it, shall we? 1,153 calories, basically, this salad is. It may be a little bit less, okay, but it is full of fat, okay? Um, she's got the pecans in there. You know, pecans are good, of course, but got the pig bits and got the cheese. So salad. that's obviously It not was so, so yummy. My favorite. Everything's her favorite. Favorite, favorite. Yeah, I don't really believe that anyway, but let's go here to so i i've got her for lunch here okay this is a similar size lunch um but it's it's actually pizza pizza rolls so these are all options from my book so you can just get these by looking into my book and this one is cruelty free pizza box okay so here we go this cruelty free pizza box she can have this one for lunch, okay? And she can have, uh, you know, as much calories as she wants because this is actually low fat, high carbohydrate and there is some fruit in there. And I would love her to just be raw to four straight away, but this is more of a transition. So I'm gonna be recommending that she has some cooked for lunch. She doesn't have to, but you know, having this is going to be probably more sustainable for her at first because she's coming from such a bad diet. So we've got rice and we have some fruit jellies here and we have pizza rolls. She can pack that in, no problem at all. And by the way, that's page 182 of My Naked Lunchbox. Check it out. She can pack in the pizza rolls and it's still gonna be far healthier and more carbohydrates than what she's eating now. So she's gonna have more energy. And yeah, I just broke that down there. And yeah, let's move on. Babe, then for a little snack, I got myself some lentil chips and pizza flavor, cause why? 
that is a whole hunk. Anyway, let's just get, let's get, ugh, that's horrible. Whew, let's go back to lentil chips. So I would say she had the whole packet, right? Of course she had the whole packet. Enjoy life, lentil chips, margarita pizza, one bag is 550 calories and it's 26 grams of fat. It's nearly 50% fat, these lentil chips. So she's just fat, fat, fat. Where do you think the fat that you're eating is going? Okay? Look, if you were to do a bot, if you were to get a biopsy of your fat stores, you can see exactly what sort of fat, you know, you draw, you get that biopsy, what sort of fat you like to eat. I chose keto because I like meats and cheeses. And if she likes to eat meat and cheeses, then her fat is just going to be filled with basically meat and cheese, with animal bits and pieces and secretions. That's gross, right? To be part pig, to be part pus, part pus, pus, basically, part pus and pig. I mean, I don't want to be carrying those extras around, do you? Like, it's just, it's so horrible to think of being built on those foods, isn't it? So anyway, she had this, like, she's having a bunch of fat, but what I recommend instead of her having that, she can have date and coconut rolls, either date or coconut rolls, or she can have banana and ice cream with chocolate sauce, 1,022 calories, okay, banana and ice cream. I mean, there's plenty of them in the book. And yes, this is a shameless plug of the book because I believe in this book, okay? I believe in these recommendations. It works. I have many testimonials. It works for me for a long, long time. It's healthy, it's cruelty-free. This is the way to go for frugivores. I just did the Raw Till 4 30-day challenge and ended a couple weeks ago. The fact is that I weigh over 300 pounds and I'm pushing 50 and so time feels as though it's running out for me. So on August the 11th I started the 30 day raw till 4 challenge and um, I have to say I'm so glad that I did it. I have, it's so funny because this morning I was looking at videos that I made five years ago or almost four years ago now. And one of them, I, I wrote it down, was called Newbie Raw Foodist and Her Junk Food Insanity. And for years I felt I'm, I've, I've been insane. In fact, uh, maybe I'll go through my experience with dieting. And you'll see it is, I, I, I have been insane. I, I have been anorexic. I have had bulimia. I have now understand myself to be uh, experiencing binge eating disorder and never have I, but there was where the light bulb went off because I never really thought of myself as having an eating disorder. I've always thought of myself as obese. So in 30 days, and here's why I wanted to make this video, I ate over 100 pounds of bananas. I ate almost 50 pounds of potatoes. I don't know how many kilograms of rice I ate, and I ate more fruit than probably anyone that I know or have uh, been around in my life, in real life. I probably don't eat as much fruit as freely, but I certainly eat a lot of fruit. And what happened? Well, there was some weight loss, and that's fantastic. I lost over 20 pounds. Great. You know, that's I, I hope for more weight loss because that's good for my health. But the biggest connection for me was that I had one single goal when I went into the 30-day challenge, and that was to be 30 days without binging. And I'm so proud to be able to say, almost to the point of tears, honestly, but I'm so proud to be able to say that more than 30 days have gone by now, and I haven't binged. And I don't feel so crazy. And that is what has made it worthwhile for me. There's also like, seriously, um, pancakes. I have pancakes. Look at that. Look how delicious that looks. This is page 209. Pancakes with almond milk, it's delicious, okay? And you can eat unlimited, that's the most important thing. You, you don't restrict your calories. Instead of having... Why not? And for Instead of having lentil chips, because she needs more sugar. You can see that clearly, she's not having... Is she having any sweet fruit? 
there's no sweet fruit. She had some tomatoes there and she had, um, no, she had no sweet fruit. And this is absolutely vital for frugivores. If you're going to be satisfied and get slim long term like myself, I've stayed the same weight for over a decade. No calorie restriction, no excessive exercise, no caffeine, no drugs, none of that. OK, because I'm feeding myself correctly. I'm getting enough fruit in, getting enough fructose in. This is just horrible. For dinner, I had a nice steak. Oh, a nice steak. Sister, like, this is just like disgusting. It's just this chunk of animal ass. Like, why, why would you put that into your body? And like, this is why you're the size you are. Okay, you are a frugivore eating like a carnivore. This is not gonna work. Me no worky, okay, me no worky, all right? And then she had this like gratin stuff, like this uh, cauliflower cheesy thing, I guess, and corn. I put this into the chronometer as well. Let's go and check it out. It's just horrible. Obviously, it is cruel. Leave the animals alone. It, like, it's just so unnecessary. Don't do it. Leave them alone, please. They're here for their own purpose. They're here to do their own thing. Let's leave them do that. Okay, so beef steak, I'd say it's like half a kilo, okay? So 800 calories, 22 grams of fat. Then you've got the cauliflower gratin is, is like, it's got 20 grams of fat and the roasted corn. See, she's going about this wrong. She's going about this like, oh, high fat, is, high fat, low carb is going to help me lose weight. No, Anna, that's why you're still the size that you are. This is not working because you're not meeting your basic physiological needs. That's just, it's just not rocket science, but it is actual science that you need a lot of glucose, okay? You need a lot of glucose in your system. I'm not making this up. Every cell in the human body runs on glucose. What do you think the body is requiring a lot of? The trillions of cells, it's glucose, glucose, glucose. So stop making it hard for your body by feeding it meats and cheeses and start feeding it a lot of carbs, high carbohydrate foods. So. What I put here instead of that horrible dinner, okay, yeah, yes, there were some vegetables in there, but they just get drenched in cheese and fat and cream and just becomes unhealthy. So what I recommend is from the Raw to 4 book as well, we have something that is going to be tasty. I mean, like we got, we got sushi, eat sushi, okay? Eat plant-based sushi, cruelty-free. Um, you can have the spicy Asian fire roasted tofu has a lot of rice in there, but this one, potato and chickpea curry. Honestly, very, very tasty. I've even got a video where I make this recipe on my main channel, but oh, you can just eat unlimited. So I added that to her total. Okay, I've got 4,468 calories here for her for the day. Yes, and it came to 32.9 grams of fat. Hardly any, like it just, a good amount for someone like her, okay? She doesn't want to be packing in a lot of fat because it's just, it's just going to her fat cells, okay? She doesn't need any more fat, right? She does not need any more excess fat hanging around. And you might be like, oh no, she won't lose weight with that many calories. Yes, she will because she's changing the source. She's not having as much fat, which is just packing on to the body. She's having the high carb, cruelty-free plant foods. And this is a great day. Carbs, 1,048 grams of carbs, which is fantastic for someone like her. She's going to have so much energy. She's not going to feel like having any drugs. That's Cauliflower sure. gratin and some roasted corn. And it was a good day. It's not a good day. That's not a good day, girlfriend. That is a disaster. That is a dietary disaster. That is like an artery clogger. That's a cruel day. It's just, it's not good on any level. Anna, you need to get it together, okay? This is not healthy. This is keeping you where you are at. If you keep eating like this, I don't, you don't have a future, okay? Like your body is telling you, is communicating with you. This is not working. This is the way she eats. This is why she is like this. And she probably just thinks, oh, it's sweets. No, sugar is not turning to fat in your body. It's a very, very rare occurrence that sugar is actually converted to fat. It's the fat. Reduce the amount of fat. Increase the amount of sugar. 
Even refined sugar is so much better because it's fueling your cells still. But of course, I'm all about the fruit. But if, you, if she's going to have like high sugar and lower fat, she's still going to lose a lot of weight. She's still going to get healthier. And that's a great start. Okay, so there we go. It's a high fat day. It's 3,289 calories. She's not even eating enough. I would say I slightly overestimated. So she's probably having around 3,000 calories. This isn't enough for her. So she needs to eat enough so she feels satisfied. And it's a sustainable program that works long term for her to bring the weight down and get healthier. It needs to be sustainable. It needs to be enough calories, but from the right source, the high fiber, the high carbohydrates, high fruit is best. Okay. So you need to understand this, this amount of fat, 170 grams of fat is just not working for her. And this 241 grams of protein, this is, this is really disastrous for her. So Anna, please, please check out the raw till four diet, check out a high carb cooked vegan diet. They work, okay? This works long term and that's what matters. And as I said, Anna, I'm willing to coach you. And so let Anna know that I made this video for her and that I am trying to help. We want to see her survive. We want to see animals survive because currently she's taking a lot of lives unnecessarily and she's also spreading it to her audience, which is unacceptable. Okay, so that's my video for today. Don't forget to vote on the video. Watch my last video for my feelings on this body positivity movement. And if you want to see more of them, let me know in the comments below who you want me to react to and everything like that. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to go for it yourself. Biggest connection for me was that I had one single goal when I went into the 30 day challenge and that was to be 30 days without binging. And I'm so proud to be able to say, almost to the point of tears, honestly, but I'm so proud to be able to say that more than 30 days have gone by now and I haven't binged and I don't feel so crazy. And that is what has made it worthwhile for me.